Georgia grand jury subpoena was temporarily blocked by Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. The subpoena requires testimony from Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. The grand jury is looking into potential criminal interference in the 2020 election. For more on that, Tom Dempsey is back now. He's live again from Washington, D.C. Hello again, Tom. Hey, Mitch. Yeah, this morning, the Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney continues to work on a formal response to this decision by Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. If you're wondering why we are talking about Justice Thomas in particular, it's because he handles emergency cases out of Georgia. And now, by Thursday, the District Attorney must convince Justice Thomas that Senator Lindsey Graham must testify in this case. The case all revolves around the 2020 presidential election and former President Donald Trump and others allegedly, you know, trying to interfere in the election results coming in. Phone calls between Senator Graham and election officers now face some questions in this case. Graham says he simply conducted fact-finding calls, but the district attorney clearly wants to know more and question Graham under oath. Now, though, this decision by Justice Thomas temporarily blocks the testimony from happening. In the past, Senator Graham has said constitutional protections for lawmakers should shield him from being forced to testify and follow that subpoena in this case. Again, though, the district attorney has until Thursday of this week to formally respond to Justice Thomas and convince him that uh, Senator Graham should indeed testify in the case, Mitch. All right, Tom, so what's the timeline? What happens after that response? Well, again, this is, you know, an emergency case considered that, you know, Justice Thomas handles emergency cases out of Georgia. Again, that Thursday deadline where the district attorney has to respond. And because of the immediacy of this, you know, Justice Thomas can either decide to handle this himself or refer it to the full Supreme Court. And after that Thursday deadline, we can expect probably a quick decision by Justice Thomas as to how he should uh, decide on this moving forward. So, again, we do expect this case to move pretty quickly sometime this week, Mitch. Feels like everything just ends up in front of the Supreme Court all the time. That's Tom Dempsey. He's reporting from the home of the Supreme Court, Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.